some of you, if you're local, would remember me for managing the hotels or when I was out in Mom with uh, some of the political events over the years. I would like to say that what happened to my mother was an awful deed. It was carried out of hate, jealousy, and greed. I believe that Rebecca O'Donnell was stealing money from my mother, and when my mother confronted her about it, she snapped and snapped my mother to death in a fit of rage and perceived self-preservance. As some news agencies have already reported, I was the one that found my mother's body on June 4th, 2019 at her home. She was lying face down, wrapped in one of my old comforters, and shoved underneath the tarp in her driveway. I will never not be able to see that picture burned in my brain. The smell of a dead body laying outside wrapped up in that, in that tarp for approximately a week in the Arkansas summer. The swarm of flies that flew out and surrounded me. The sight of her white blonde hair moving because the number of maggots crawling on her scalp. The last memory of her that I have was of me making a 911 call and trying not to vomit at the sight and smell of my mother's body. My thought on the conclusion of this case is that none of the punishments allowed for Arkansas state law will come close to what I feel right now and as a right and equal punishment for her. The plea deal is not what my first choice would have been, but at least we do have a guaranteed amount of time that she'll be in prison for, and we have the ability as the victim's family to argue against her release at every parole hearing. I'd personally like to thank the lead investigator, Kristen Hutton, of the Arkansas State Police, the Randolph County Sheriff's, Kevin Bell, and everyone else that worked their butts off to make sure no stone was unturned, that no piece of evidence was overlooked, and that the safety, security, and privacy of my family were first and foremost during the entire investigation. Thank you all for your well wishes, the happy thoughts, the amazing stories that you all share. Thank you. So we, we've had just such amazing outpouring love from the community, not just this community, the communities across the state from different states, anybody who's ever interacted with her, and they all love to share the stories that they've had, and that's that's the best thing, the best form of healing is just hearing these amazing stories and, and, and just the, the great amount of love and, and happiness that she brought to everybody that she touched. For the